When I first started filming this video, I was planning on doing a whole makeover thing with a part of my garden. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't really get round to that and I only sort of did a bit of it. It's looking a bit better than it was originally, but it's not much of an improvement. I just do not have the time anymore. I work like five days a week. I quite recently did seven days in a row and then I got my paycheck and it was only 700 quid, which was um, absolutely shocking. Like the lowest I've been paid in two years, pretty much. And um wasn't very happy. I mean, after working seven days in a row, I was, you know, waiting for this and I didn't get what I was expecting. Uh, hopefully next month's going to be better. We got sold to a new company and um, they've changed how we're being paid. And it's just like completely, ah, uh, it's just a mess. But anyway, I didn't get round to giving a, doing a proper makeover. And this footage was filmed in like March or April or maybe earlier than that. I don't know. But it was miserable and it was like, it was grey and it was wet. And nothing was growing and everything was dead. And I just kind of... Um, went with it um so at the time of recording this it has well it's it's july now and it's summer and everything has grown and we have new plants and the daffodils have been and gone and yeah we we've been doing a major clean out at home um we're hoping to do a car boot sale and get rid of loads of stuff um we've been taking loads of stuff to the tip that little box there that i've been filling up this whole time uh, that was all stuff to be thrown so I was just filling it up with random stuff that I found. I've had to go through a lot of like old toys and old notebooks and schoolwork. And it's been quite interesting. I found things that I'd like forgotten about. And I even found some of like my old diaries from when I was like eight or, or younger than that. And it was just, it's hilarious. Because I like, the things I wrote in them, I, I can vividly remember and like sort of having my memories confirmed by what I had written all those years ago was just kind of, it was fascinating. Um, and I appreciate that my parents didn't dig through them because I, don't, I can't remember what I wrote when I was that young. Also like being a kid in like the 20, the 2000s was like really weird because the way the culture has shifted, like when we were in primary school, saying gay as an insult was like the thing and by the time we got to secondary school everyone's like that's not an insult why are you calling me that um and just the, the culture shift was just fascinating and like looking through old diaries from primary school and like early year seven are just like hilarious at, like the words I'm using as insults and then like but the difference and the growth that we all experienced um as the culture changed was just like you know, it's heartwarming and I'm glad that nobody seems to speak like that anymore because, yeah, primary school is kind of weird. You think, like, kids are cute, but, like, oh, my God, kids can be awful. <laughs> I mean, I love kids, but, oh, my, I did work experience at a primary school and, oh, my God, the bullying. Do you expect five-year-olds to be bullies? Anyway, <laughs> they were. They were awful. I mean, they're also some of the sweetest people, but at the same time, they had no filter and they would just be horrible at the same time. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm hoping that maybe the culture in primary schools is a, is a bit nicer than when we were there. So I don't, I don't think we knew what any of those words really mean. And then by the time we grew old enough to understand what they were, we were like, why the hell are we using them? And it was, yeah... You know, I've spoken to, like, friends and stuff about it. And when we, like, look back on the things that we said when we were, like, eight or younger and stuff, it was just, like, what the hell? Um, and I think people are, like, ashamed of talking about, like, when they were younger and, like, the mistakes they made. But, like, that is the point in your life where you are growing and you are changing and you are learning and you become who you actually are, like... I don't know, it's fascinating. <laughs> I'm just pleased that, like, we've all moved away from that. I say all of us, but there's still people that are assholes. Anyway, I, like, finished up my sweeping and things looked clean for about two minutes. I mean, how do you make dirt look clean? You don't. Anyway, 
it was time to plant some flowers in our bath. Um, which, at the moment, doesn't actually look this dead. That primrose is, like, quadrupled in size. Um, I can't actually remember. Were the sweet peas? Yeah, we've the sweet peas are currently blooming. It's They look gorgeous. And, um... Yeah, here's the sweet peas. They are, yeah, they're in, they're blooming now. And we put poles up for them to climb on. And currently, they've decided to climb on literally everything else. Um, here are the daffodils. They've all gone over now, like, months ago. But um, I really enjoy them when they're here. And they're just, they're some of my favourite flowers. They don't last too long. But it's gorgeous how all the roads around here just get completely filled with daffodils. And there's just, like trails of, of yellow everywhere. Uh, the hydrangea, that was my next project at the moment, that is now blooming as well because it's July. But anyway, it was April or March or whatever so I decided to de deadhead it. Um, obviously wearing suitable gardening attire such as a mini skirt. Um, very practical. Um, it's quite a satisfying job. I think I have my, did I have my headphones in for this? I don't know but usually I do. Um, yeah, it was satisfying, and I did a bit of a jumpy, jumpy jump on it, um, we have quite a few hydrangeas in my garden, so I had to kind of do all of them, but this main one here that I'm filming, it's like my favourite, it's the one that's really bright blue, if you've seen the, the pictures on my Instagram, you'll know what I mean, it's like the same colour as like a really blue sky, it's gorgeous, uh, this is a later video when it had started to bloom at the moment it is bright blue but I really can't be asked to go out and film it because it's like nearly midnight and I'm sat here recording as per usual. We also like removed as much brambles and nettles as we could from the hydrangeas some of the ones in the hedges get really swamped. We also decided to try and clear out the greenhouse but there was a bird's nest so we kind of had to abandon that project but as of this video it was empty, so I filmed it, and it looked really cute. And then our lovely roses were in bloom, which I love. They smell absolutely divine. However, I've never found another one like them since. Um, the, yeah, basically everything, um, as when these videos were filmed, everything was coming to life. We have the moon daisies, some of my absolute favourite flowers. I just, ah! And also Rosie eating a stick, as per usual. She actually, like, choked on one or something. And we had to take her to the vet 